Hi, in this video we're going to show you three ways to enable the built-in administrator account in Windows. Uh, so depending on if you have Windows Pro or Windows Home or Enterprise, you know, Enterprise will be the same as Pro. Uh, there's three ways you could do it. Uh, for Windows Pro, all three ways will work as is, but if you want to do two of these ways in Home, you're going to have to do some modifications to do so. All right, the first way, um, which is the easiest, is to use the command prompt. So before we do that, if I go into my users, this is, this is a Windows 11 Pro, so I could use this uh, local users and groups console here. I could see that we have the administrator account here, and it's disabled. So for command prompt, all you'd have to do is do an administrator command prompt and run this. Let's just try this out here. Okay, if we go back here, so now it's enabled. And if you want to reverse that, you can just change that to no. And we should be back to disabled here. Okay, simple enough. So that'll work in Home and Pro, so probably the easiest way to do it. Second method is to use the group policy editor, which is only available in Windows uh, Professional. You can add the group policy editor to the home version uh, with some tweaking and a little batch file. So we have a video on that. I'll put that in the description because, you, you know, that'll come in handy for other stuff. So if, once you have that going, you could uh, open that up, go to computer configuration, security settings, security options under local policies. And then you have this guy here, accounts administrator, account status disabled. You can just click on that and make it enabled, and you're done. And then the final way is where we were just at. So using the local users and group console, which is only in Pro, but you can download the uh, executable for this, and I'll put a link in the description for that, so that way you can run that at home. So once you open that, you just go to your users, find your administrator, properties, uncheck it, OK, and then you have your administrator account. And now you notice if you click on Start and your user list here, you'll have Administrator. Let's see if we could log on here. Sign in. No password. And now it'll just go through the new user setup since this computer's never been uh, configured with the administrator. And then you have all your privacy settings and and now you're on the desktop with the uh, local administrator account and this these uh this procedure should work the same for windows 10 if you're still using windows 10 so like i said i'll put everything in the description and you could try it out and get your local admin account up and running just in case you need to use it someday all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe <laughs>